Lana Talk. Um, the NASDAQ, ISE LLC, withdraws proposal to list and trade options on Ethereum and Bitcoin products. Now, the options trading um, through the traditional markets like the NASDAQ has been something that we also have not been that excited about, not that interested in. Um, we already have uh, calls and options on Deribit, um, which is you know a crypto native exchange um, that I would say has enough volume uh, and liquidity on there that you can do plenty of options trading there. We don't really need the traditional markets here and options trading on the traditional market will just add more volatility to crypto anyways and not necessarily bring more inflows. So again, when we look at the ETFs, what are we really looking at? Like, do we just want like all this stuff on Wall Street for crypto, uh, all these different ways of trading and different ways of betting on the market simply because we want as much eyes from Wall Street on crypto as possible or right? Like that's kind of like the in it for the tech type move versus, or do we want the most money from Wall Street coming into crypto so it pumps all our bags? Obviously, right? We want the money uh, coming into the space. And so, um, yeah, if, you know, a Solana ETF is not going to happen, whatever, right? It wasn't going to bring a whole lot of crazy money to the space anyway. Bitcoin, Ethereum, we're going to be the main. Bitcoin is going to be the main options here. It wasn't going to bring a lot of money into the market anyway. It's probably just increased volatility. Solana's uh, ETF on the CBOE would have been a futures ETF, so it definitely would have brought more volatility to Solana. Hell, all these meme coin betting and shorting and trading uh, election markets bullshit, all that stuff too, right, um, is just going to add more volatility to the space. doesn't necessarily uh, draw in more money. It's just more way for uh, current crypto native degenerates to trade in the space. So again, you kind of have to look at when you see different news of different chains, but also the the traditional market and, and how that's interacting with crypto. Just always ask yourself, like, what is the net benefit for this on crypto? Because to be honest, like crypto probably um, shouldn't be interacting with, you know, uh, the traditional market as much as it is. But because it brings a lot more attention, but not only attention, but also more money to the space. That's why it's good for the space. Right. But yeah um crypto is still the wild west we're playing with a lot of different um new technologies 